everybody. Today I am going to be sharing with you something which is quite unique. How do we strengthen our Saturn? How do we strengthen our Mercury? And should we strengthen our Mercury and Saturn? Yes. See, every planet, be it a function benefic or a malefic in your chart, it still carries an energy, right? And that energy has to be either a negative energy or a positive energy. A planet, even if exalted, moon, tricoon, aspected by benefic planets, cannot always give you good results. And a planet which is destroyed in your chart, it cannot always give you bad, 100% bad results. So we need to understand that every planet carries a positive energy and a negative energy. So a lot of people ask me, my career is not moving nice. Naturally, the karak of career which is Saturn would be somewhat not good in your chart. I am not able to, you know, calculate things, analyze things properly, plan things. I am not able to strategize my decisions so that I can progress, go up the ladder. No, Mercury is weak. Your Mercury is afflicted or it is weak. It does not have the adequate strength it needs. So, when we need to make certain decisions, which is Mercury, calculative decisions, and mix it up with our career, which is Saturn, Shani, to progress. What do we do? We strengthen both of them. Now, if you strengthen one planet, is it going to hurt the other planet? No, because Mercury and Saturn are friends. So there is one very unique technique which you can do. And believe me, it really works. I have uh, shared with a couple of my astrology mates and they also agree with the same. There is one game which we used to play when we were small and that was the game of chess. See, chess is not just a strategic game wherein you see how you can conquer the other party, how you can defeat the other party, how you can rule over the next king. It's not only strategy. We all know that strategy is mercury. So the more you calculate in your mind, you make combinations in your mind to defeat the enemy, the positive energy towards your mercury is increasing. But it's also a game of patience. And what is the planet which shows you patience? That is Saturn. So Saturn, it might show you delay, disappointment, but on the good side, it also rules your patience. So if you have a good Saturn, you will have patience in life. If you have a good Mercury, you will utilize that patience given by Saturn to make the correct decisions, calculative decisions. So a combination of Saturn and Mercury in Kundli creates a Raju uh, in certain cases. So what you can do is if you want to strengthen your Mercury and your Saturn so that you can take right decisions in your career, then play chess every day. Why every day? Why not once a week? Because Saturn rules discipline, Saturn rules routine. If you do this daily, you're setting up a routine. And believe me, chess sometimes takes the entire life to finish one game. Because some people are very slow. If you are able to cope with that slowness of the other person, you're developing a good Saturn. That means you're developing patience. So if you play chess every day, you're strengthening your Saturn, you're strengthening your Mercury. And therefore, the problems that come because of your Saturn and Mercury are definitely going to diminish. Hope today you challenge somebody in that game of chess. Hope today you are able to relive those days of your childhood where you used to play chess. Hope. I hope for everybody that you strengthen your Mercury and your Saturn and you benefit in your life, in your career and your decisions. Calculate it. Have a great day. Have a great chess match.